Welcome, RPG Limit Break fans, to the Final Fantasy Randomizer Winter Tournament 2024 Lower Bracket Semi-Finals match between Shanigan and Spellzap. My name is Damian Hawk, with me at this day, and handling restreaming duties is Ozlato with our tracker Spellzap. Ozlato, I'm noticing some interesting party characteristics. What's up with that? Boy, oh boy, do we have one race for you tonight. There is a four-force with nuns that was decided before the race, so we ended up with a red mage fighter and black mage. That fighter has heal magic and plus 20 strength. He's gonna swing for the fences. The red mage has resist earth, poison, and time and a plus 20% hits. That black mage will be able to equip the shirt and hurt undead. Good? What they're missing out on is a thief with 800 plus gold and the wood evade set. A white mage with plus one MP on clean magic. And of course, the black belt got 10 plus strength and tell magic. Which, you know, I'm sure they would, our runners would love to have, but they'll never see it. I mean, the black belt getting good things in the one seed where they force themselves not to take it, it, it would have to be that way. That is true, because it's always when you don't want the black belt that he comes up with, uh, Something you really, really would like. When, he, when you're forced to take one, he'll have something like equip axes and shields, and that's just pointless. Indeed, we do. But this should be a, a, a real good race. Um, we're going to basically uh, get to see... I'm predicting that that, uh, that red mage, when he gets promoted, there's going to be a Vorpal swinging. 20% hit with a Vorpal, you're going to go with it. It's quite possible the second day, the secondary melee when you've got this kind of party could be very valuable, especially early on if some of the mel or the spells aren't that great for white and black. You end up swinging the sword more than not with that red mage. Question in chat: Four forced? Yes, it is. This was a four forced with none and no black belt. And David Hawk, you are correct. One thing I will point out, without that thief running, might be a bit of an issue for the early game. That black mage is going to be your main source of, uh, of run, and they're usually quite squishy. Indeed we do. None of our, none of our uh, blursings came with up to vitality or even up base health. So that fighter is the best equipped tank they're going to have, and if that's at the front of the party, chances of getting a preemptive, not so great. No. But, we will certainly see what comes out of this. Um, a lot of this is going to depend on where your, where your fast rolls, where your life rolls. Um, if it's life's in uh, level 2, oh, both our runners will be very happy to see that. You want... Easily do. But, at the other hand, you don't want to see fast rolling uh, high. You don't want to see temper rolling high. Uh, but heal magic, that's a huge plus. That's the ability to have uh, maybe life, maybe some cure, maybe heal. Great to have. Indeed. The fact that they don't have a dedicated white caster could substantially hamper their their chances. Because, yeah, the knight can get what the red mage can essentially get pre-promotion. But that has, after it comes after promotion, if the red mage can't get good spells early, you know the fighter's not going to get them. So... Right. We shall see what it rolls, and here we go. Chanikin is our first runner on stream going. Does some switcheroo to get that fighter in the front with the red mage in second. White magic. Hmm. Mm. Oh, fire. Light. Better black. Much better black. Alright, so let's just get these guys all synced up there. Just give them a little moment here. We'll get that fixed. You do like to see that... Uh, that I mean, life isn't bad. It's just in a really bad spot. Indeed. Same with Harm 4. That would be pretty good. I mean, especially in the early game with Marsh and Earth, but again, not the best slot for it. Not at all. So now we're back and we're all synced up. Uh, let's see. Uh, some cheap wood armor. That's not bad to see early game. Plus five. But we got weapons. We iron armor for that knight. Ooh. Definitely an improved overall. So you've got reasonable absorb for your party. And I also... Noticed that they had a uh, really nice sword in there. That, uh, that plus five long sword, not bad, but expensive. So we're on our way out the door. 
Ooh, imps with glare. That's fun to see. Isn't it, though? Chanigan, meanwhile, going to take the early uh, dwarf cave play. Check out the two boxes. That run off the hard reset is insane. That's a big and one. And the Gurmorals have Sting. So uh, thank you, Danny. This is indeed a Danny seed, so we're going to have to see what uh, how this rolls. Ah, and Chanigan playing us the song of his people. And a her herb and... The bridge. Ooh, but spells that finds the ship in Topher. Well, interesting. This is actually kind of big, I'd say, because Chanikin got poisoned, lost time for this. Yeah, the ship and the ruby, the herb is something nice to have, but it's not necessary. That ship basically makes the bridge worthless. Yep, the bridge is, uh, is kind of obsolete. So, for those uh, who are just tuning into our their first Final Fantasy Randomizer Winner Tournament, uh, this is an all loose. So, all of our items are loose, all your turn-ins and your ship, your canal, your everything. Um, all your NPC turn-ins, such as your uh, adamant, your crystal, your herb, uh, bottle, slab, and adamant will be either a tail or a selection of very fine items, including the tail itself. The X Cal could be a Vorpal, could be a Power Bunk, could be a Roost Stick, could be a Ribbon, or an Opal Cheerio. And I think I got them all this time. I do believe so. Meanwhile, Spells Up through Garland first, gets a Shard from the Princess, gets the Admit from the King. So that's a turn in that will send Spells Up towards Dwarves sooner than later, I'd assume. But I think Provoka is the first stop for either of these runners getting access to the magic at level 2, especially with some of the level 1 magic not being so available. Mm. Uh, the kill on Bicky plus the the options in Provoka make it the best next stop. Absolutely. And for those who haven't seen it before, they're picking up shards, which means, hey, it's a shard hunt! 28 shards required to get past the Dark Orb in Temple of Fiends to go back to the past. And Shin again pulling up to our old buddy Bicky. Going to burn some pirates with some fire three. Yep. One interesting thing for anyone who has followed the randomizer, we do have a scaling enabled, so the more shards that they collect, the more experience and gold they get from battles. That actually is scaled, I believe, by the total row, so every six shards they get. If they get more than the, the required shards and complete another row, that means they get even more scaling, and Vicky had the TNT, so... Pirates with explosives. Chanigan's going back to dwarves. Ooh, houses not cheap. 31. Ooh, dear. You don't like to see that. But let's and see. And the heal pods aren't that cheap either. They but are. the tents at least, 60 something. Ah, there's our old friend Quadex, along with Ice 3. Quadex in this flag set, all power words are up to 600. So 600 health and below, they're going to hit. So that's old. very good to see. You'll often see some fiend ca or some final fight fiends having quad X casts on them just to see if they can get that final bit of damage or final kill on it. Absolutely. So, I also saw Invis 2 in the white shop. That's nice to see. Um, Jangan did not pick it up. Spells out, picks up heal 3, and is done. And Jangan is going to go yep. check out Matoya. I am going to make a prediction that the... Uh, Crystal is in one of her chests, as so she tends to leave it there a lot. I honestly believe that her brooms are the brooms from Fantasia, and they've gotten loose and uh, have stolen other items and stored there in her closet, like a canal of all things. That is access to the outer sea. That is huge. We are now allowed to go where we want, because that um, we do have the Northern Docks on and the Bahamut Docks, so that's quick promotion. Once you get the tail, it's easy access into Mirage once you get the chime. And easy access to to see once you get the oxio. Yeah, they're still limited by the canal, those or the canoe, I should say. So they cannot get to the floater or the desert to get the floater and get the airship. They can't get to volcano, ice, waterfall, or ordeals. Ordeals. But no one's going to ordeals. But there's the tail, so Chanigan can now promote whenever he feels the need to. Yep, that is something I'd assume he's going to do as soon as he's got a reason to. Uh, the Power Bonk, also extremely valuable. That's a free cast of Saber on a stick, which when you have a limited potential casting pool, 
Uh, it is excellent to see. And let's not forget, because Saber increases your accuracy, you can use it to, to overcome the Enhanced Dark penalty, which we do have turned on in this flag set. So Dark actually does something, and it is brutal in this flag set. Brutal for you, and brutal yes. for anyone you cast it on. And Very thank valuable to get a lit, potentially, and take advantage of the fact that Cure 4 has been set up so that it can also cure status effects. So if one of their party members is on a knee for some reason, or has been cast with Dark, Cure 4 can undo the effect. Absolutely, Chang and meanwhile poisoned again. Spells up, saying hello to the Hooray Dwarf, thank you very much for uh, helping him hang around. Always nice to see. Chanigan, meanwhile, giving I us like that... I like this play from Chanigan. What? Being poisoned? <laughs> well, the, the <laughs> choice to go and uh, check si uh, Titans and Sarda. This is five chests, I believe, in, four or five chests down here, plus Sarda. Meanwhile, Spellzap opting for the ASAP promotion. Going to go straight down to Cardia Isles. And uh, Chanigan gets the rod out of the Titans tunnel. I guess it was shoved there by Sarda, and he just said, uh, hey, hold on to this. Indeed. So... Spell, spell's up going to promote now. He may go back to Elfland, check out what is at the turn-in, because if he finds an Excal or a Vorpal, he's got a great weapon that'll lead him through the rest of the game. Most definitely, the Excal having a elemental damage buff to basically everything short of chaos. Uh, even if it rolls down, it is one of the best weapons you can swing. Meanwhile, the Vorpal, I mean, if it rolled neutral or better, is one of the highest crit chance items in the hey, so Wow! Kind of so, that was the wrong old man, but uh, the Shanigan's gonna take it all the same. That's the full map, essentially, short of Lafane and Gaia unlocked to Shanigan. Spells that, meanwhile, does do the herb turn in, finds a Roostick, which, you know what? You can't complain about that. You like you you do like to see that. Um, still poisoned though. Still still gonna keep screaming. Should be noted that Chinigan does have pure potions. He's just not using them. Chat pointing out, please. So we're at least the. Fast at level 4 black is nice to see, but at least the randomizer removed the flashing lights when they're on damage tiles. That That is a big creature comfort thing. I see Brack at level 3. You definitely want that for old Kraken and maybe Tia if she gets annoying. The slab for sale! I also see a sl oh my. Exactly. 35,000 gold, though. That is not going to be picked up anytime soon. No. Cure 4. Um... I think that's promotion locked. Definitely for the night. And... Alright, nothing A-lit fear. But fast, you do want that. But you can't afford it right now. Meanwhile, Spell Zap... I am very interesting. Spell Zap is actually not going to go to go gonna go to Earth. Not going to check the Titan's Tunnel. Is actually just going to go straight to Marsh. Yeah, life 2... Not learnable and not usable in battle either. Only life one is is learn is usable in ba battle. I mean, you can use it in battle; it just wastes a charge. It doesn't do anything. So exactly. Chanigan getting his roost stick. Spells up. Yep, looks like he's gonna go check a look at Marsh Attic while Chanigan hops in the boat. He. If okay. you were Chanigan, would you go back to Earth, or would you say I like Volcano or the Cheeky Ordeals play, maybe? No, he's not doing ordeals. He's going to get his promotion. Sad. But at least he used the pure potion. Yes, yeah, saving all of our fans their ears. And ours. So, now we're yeah. going to check Marsh. Soft potion. Yeah. Could be handy. We haven't seen anything that has uh, Brack or anything of that nature yet, but it could be a thing. Mm -hmm. Ice minus one. Not a horrible sword, but uh, not the sword they're looking for. Not even close. Now, if they see an Xbox in here, that's also not the sword you're looking for at this junction, because that is going to be the War Mech Guarded Masa, and it is not time for that just yet. Unless... Indeed, our Lord and Saver Robot Chicken. Unless our runners are feeling cheeky, and they want to find out what the fiends don't have. Because remember, the four fiends and Chaos all share a ability pool with our old friend the War Mech, so if the War Mech has Cure 4, you know the fiends and Chaos do not. 
Indeed, but that also means that those four nukes that are normally strapped to the back of that giant walking war machine from thousands of years in the past can be equipped to just about anything, including the second speed bump that happens to be at the front of the t uh, the, the refights. So. You're you're assuming he lives more than a turn. So Chanigan, meanwhile, True. is popping into Earth. He's got his rod. He can full clear this, no problem. Also notice he does not have a single pure potion in his inventory, so if he gets poisoned... Oh, chat, we're in for a fun one. Spells at meanwhile, getting through the incentive box, finds a shard there. Again, loops all loose means all the incentive items are in chests that they normally wouldn't be. Like that. But it is totally possible. Oh, hey, a crown that's in the room next to where the crown will be, and the crystal is in Earth 1. Do, do, we, do we call that a French vanilla or like a flat white? Uh, I mean, Ooh. it's a shifted box, so French vanilla-ish, and what did those zombies have, or mummies have? Frost! Just they had frost. That is not what you want to see. Those things appear everywhere. Yeah, indeed. Ah, oh, look, he Spells got... could encounter some. He found some pure potions. We're saved. <laughs> That's assuming that he actually chooses to use them. That is true. Yeah, you don't. You... Oh, Crystal getting picked up again, having that wipe. Do to see him get out of their ASAP and do the safety save as Spell Zap is on his way back out of Marsh. Absolutely, you do Could not. likely just go ahead and turn in that crown, I just assume. Absolutely. You, and for Chan again, you just do not want to see those mummies again. Because, oh boy, that is not pleasant. Indeed, we do. I do like what Spell Zap did just then. He went into the room on the second floor of Marsh Bottom and picked up the linked chest, having reset out of Marsh Top. That linked chest still had about 3,000 gold in it. It was a quick pickup that could lead to getting that slab or any other necessary equipment. I mean, that's basically enough for one house. Yes, and Channing and Meemaw finding that gargoyles have glare. So great, Earth is not safe. This is not a great place to be right now. But a Dragon Plus 4 and a Pro Ring make it a little bit easier to swallow. Yep, that is a totally a totally effective sword to be swung by either the Knight or the promoted Red Wizard, I believe, can use that. That uh, they can. You're kind of hoping to find maybe a Sun Sword down here. That would be great to find that. Meanwhile, yeah, the crown... Extra damage to undead. I see a Vorpal. I see... Oh, I see a floater. Wow, at 13 minutes and 45 seconds. Chanigan now has everything he needs to get in the air. Do we... Do this we... is... And that's a Vorpal plus three. You know, this is so getting close to that moment where you say... J -j 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 Jet Seed? I'm Question. Uh, we're thinking it. I think everyone's kind of going with it. This is one of those seeds where it's like, you know what? And Shanigan is leaving. He's done. He's got a floater. He does. He's got his canoe. He is out. He is walking Indeed. it out. And I do not blame him. He now has access to the cardia checks. Uh, he has a lot of uh, a lot of easier time now. He can go to yeah, volcano. Yeah, I can imagine going to volcano. Yep, I I am backing this play a hundred percent. I would be backing way out of Earth. Volcano has a much higher chest density with the volcano armory floor and the Agma floor. You've got higher quality encounters as far as experience goes, as well as encounters that have fewer entities but still provide more experience. They've got sweepers available with full uh, with fully promoted characters. They can get more magic options. But there's so going into the air and getting to better locations just makes sense. And the most important thing of all, it, there's no mummies in Volcano. Indeed. We've you... already seen the chaos that this seed has so far. and Level 5, now black. Now I can somewhat avoid it. Nope, okay, nothing good in level 5, black. And we are 1524 in the air. That's that's quick. Okay. We do not check in the shop items. It doesn't need to know. Pro rings, 12,000 mm. gold. That's uh, expensive, but you only need three, and they've already found one. And there's your warp charge, but it's too expensive right now. Meanwhile, spells that. Gonna make the play to Titans. Grab his uh, his rod and probably get his canoe as well. The old men have a wear sword. Great, that's something. Yeah, it's a slight upgrade from the dragon sword as far as overall effectiveness. And if Chanigan thinks to put that dragon sword on the red mage, that's another melee option. 
Uh, let's see, where does Shannon go from here? Uh, looks like... Oh, heading north. Gonna turn in the crystal, it looks like. Yep, probably looking for the, uh, the X-Cow. We know it's not the Vorpal. We know where that is. Could be the there Raiden it is. Or the dip. Nope, that's... Plus two. Oof. Well, there you go. Chanigan is pretty much uh, ready to stab anything that comes his way. Yeah. Kind of shocked Chanigan is not going to go check Cardia just yet. Get more shards early would be nice. Check for more equipment. But I like this play. Going to go straight into Volcano. Has a lot of checks here, as said before. No, he's... Checking looks like hasn't gone to the end. Going to get charge yeah, back, yeah, or he's... charges back. Yeah, he's got to go uh, heal up, get his charges back. I like the play to Volcano because you are still looking for a loot and you're still looking for a key. And the Volcano's chest density, it's good chance it might be buried in there. So that would be a good play. Yep. Meanwhile, Spell Zap out of the Titans and Sardachek has the rod, has the canoe, has not got the floater yet. We'll get it here soon enough. Indeed. I'm assuming Spell Zap will be like, why is it here and has Chanigan got it already? He will probably be thinking the same thing, but Spells Up has one thing. He does have a Vorpal Sword, so he's coming in here with a little bit better equipment. When Chanigan was in here, he had pretty much nothing. Well, interesting. Chanigan goes to that right hairpin and then moves on. Doesn't go to that closed hairpin. Every, everybody hates that thing. Ooh, that fire's got some swing to it. And lit three. Wow. Nope, that's not fun. Well, Volcano is very painful, and the good news for Chanigan is he can avoid <laughs> most of those tiles. And the mummies have fog, too, as part of their uh, their script, so that's just a giant time waster. Needly do. Oh, my. And there is an Xbox. That's why he avoided it. That hairpin is that hairpin is the is our Maza chest. That's why he wants oh, nothing. Red... <laughs> he wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> if the fire elementals were dangerous enough at this level, there's no way he's going to go after something that could stomp him into the ground, even if it doesn't get its nukes. Oh, I mean, the only thing you have right now is an X-Cal and a power-up bonk. You're not taking that on right now. Yeah, as good as the weapons are, the armor is still level 1 shop gear. It is not by any means heavy up. The pro ring is probably the best equipment they've got. Yep, that is the truth. They don't really have a lot right now, but a couple of good shards. Gonna run from this gray room unless... Nope, we're gone. Ooh, an iron. He's hoping to see Ooh. some good silver armor. Opal plus five. There you go. A nice, huge upgrade for that knight. Absolutely. And a wizard stick to help with carry. And Shanigan has first full row of six shards. So what do we got in the last chests? Nothing major. Well, we'll plus yeah, five. Now the hope is Chanigan knows not to go straight up from where he is and because he'll encounter those fires again. Yeah, you don't want to be anything... Well, they have lit, and the opal shield will provide him some protection. Ooh, unrunnable hydras. It looks like they're not hitting too hard, and that Excal just proving how dang good it is one-shots it. At, the, at this level, you have to... You gotta respect the Excal. Interesting. Chanigan does not want to go ahead and save out I'm guessing doesn't have that many save items. It's just going to continue on as uh, Spells Out, meanwhile, Honor 2 gets the floater. He does have the wizard stick. So he can this confuse true. He can confuse carry and then just beat her with that X-Cow until, oh, there's that fire. I'd fight and run and run because that thing's not pleasant. I got poison touch. Oh, good. Here we go again. Anyone who watched Fry Teeth and Caleb's race a few days ago knows just how much that wizard stick can do to get through Volcano. Absolutely, that was insane. Meanwhile, Spell Zap is walking it out too. He's done heading his, on his way out. He hasn't seen the mummies, uh, Chat pointed out, and I'm keeping an eye on it, so... Oh, that could be rough if he ever encounters them again. And they do pop up in a lot of places. And the mummy whiz mummy pack that you'll find in uh, ice or waterfall in several other locations. Ice too, yep. They're popping in ice. So, Chanigan, meanwhile, hailing with the Grey Worm. Spells up out and heading straight to the Ryukon Desert, I would assume. Hey, free mage stick. There's the mage. 
Free Fire 2 cast, another excellent item to find. Yeah, not so great in the Fire Fiend's dungeon, but still very potent. Mm-hmm. And let's not and I mean if you find a pack of metal slimes, you're you're sitting pretty. So, spell zap yeah. at 2116 is in the air. Back. Honestly, 20 plus minutes is, or 21 minutes is still pretty jetty for these flags. Oh, for a winter tournament flag seat, this is this is unheard of. You never see that floater in canoe early. Normally, one of them's buried somewhere in sky. Which there's your chime. Okay, well I said it, and there it is. Chanigan save or getting potioned up before encountering this agma. I have to note, Chanigan's knight is only at level nine, and it's doing like. 400 damage, three <laughs> or 530 <laughs> damage at level nine. That uh, Xcal is doing so much work. Ah, uh, uh, remember, plus 20 strength to start. That, that too. That knight is a beast with an Xcal. Oh, the Agamas have mute touch. That's cute. Agamas have more than 400 health. They will beefy today. Spells up's got his now, so he's gonna move the Vorpal over to the red. Equip that Xcal. He's in. Power mode. Let's see what this red D's got. You can just imagine that you can just imagine this knight is like those dogs that have that missing gene, so they look completely yoked. You see a whippet that's got more muscles than a pit bull. Spells that meanwhile is going to go check cardio, so we get a first look at what's in here. Four box, great. Oh, there's the first one. There's the key. That is huge because with spell zap in relative proximity to it, and with the air, with the airship can make a quick dive back around all of the Ooh. inner sea. And two shards in a plus five. There you go. That is a big upgrade to that black mage's armor. And three That's going on the red mage. Yeah, don't blame him for that. Three shards out of that. That's pretty good start. That's that's a that's a good cardia. Indeed, we do. Still has two more islands to check. Three boxes here, I believe six or seven boxes in the next aisle. Then he's got all the key locks they can check with that airship to get him around. Meanwhile, Shanigan done with the Red D's, done with the Agma, on to carry. Gonna go ahead and swing. 246, Fire 2, gonna tickle at this point. Trying the Quad X? I mean, I say tickle, but it's Bye. still a lot. Quad X gets it. Carry rolled thin ish. Goodbye, Carry. You, we hardly knew you. So there's two shards for Shanigan for taking carry out. First orb lit doesn't Ooh. really matter as far as uh, getting in. It's the two shards you get for killing Carry or Lich, uh, as well as the four shards they can get for killing Tia or Kraken that do matter. Well, I'm, well, Curdia, very, very shard rich. That was a good play for Spells App. I think you got about at least four out of there, maybe potentially five. Jenny, meanwhile, is now re diving Earth. I totally get this play. You've got the gear. You still, you know, there's a good number of chests further down. You might as well take it. You've got the levels. You've got. Eh, it just makes sense. And uh, spells out pulling a shard and a katana just for the fun <laughs> of it. Rolled up even. Go sell that it. That is actually kind of nice to see because that is a lot of money, and they know where warp is. Now you know where the slab is as well, which is right here. Very true, and with that airship, that's access to the fame, so that's another check. We have yet to see the incentive ribbon or the uh, opal bracelet. We have not. Is he going to buy the slab? Nope. Not going to bother. He has the Roostick, he's got the Power Bonk, he's got the X-Cal, he's got the Vorpal. He's probably not going to care about the rest of it, to be totally it fair. Uh, the ribbon would be nice, but if he finds dragon armor, he doesn't need it. Yeah, there are two loose ribbons available, so a nice helm and uh, some ribbons for everything else. Mm. Uh, spells up now, Northwest Castle, gonna check those three chests as Chanigan is making his way through the Vampire Fort. Now, Spells app, do not trigger those mummies. You don't want that. So, we're gonna go check what's in the dwarves while Chanigan deals with an annoying pack of arachnids. And oozes. What do we? Oh, there's the mummies again. He knows what they can do. Gets away. And dwarf armory has a soft flame plus five. No, money, money. No, saber house. Okay, shard. Yep, in a cabin. So not really much there. Free shard. Can't complain about that. The crazy thing is, I haven't really seen many bad weapons. I mean, they even got the light axe that rolled up. With that axe equip capability of that black mage, the black mage could swing pretty hard. Oh, 
if the black mage didn't have magic to use. I was gonna say you're swinging with the black. You're swinging with the black wizard. You're you're in trouble. All right, let's go check Toflocked. Why not? So, you know, eh, say hello to a vampire who will be there for approximately maybe 30 seconds if less. Less. Anyway, that happened. Burn it with, just burn it with fire. Job done. There's, Ooh, ribbon there's your Toflock ribbon. Bottom right. There's your ribbon. Now Spells Up is a very happy runner. He has a ribbon, an Excal. He's got a power bonk. He's got a ruse stick. He's got a key. More pole. Ooh, but Shannon finds the defense plus five, and the bottle. Which he that's actually he can turn that in. He's got the ship. I don't think the red mage can swing the defense sword. If it could, There's that'd be a, awesome. Ooh, Oxyale. Oxyale. There's uh, the defense sword. I do not believe, but it is uh, an extra ruse cast. Yep, so you've got ruse cast from the ruse stick and the defense sword for your two lead characters. Unfortunately, other than that defense and that bottle, there hasn't really been a lot in Earth Cave that's really been helpful. Uh, if there's loot here, then Shanigan is, is completely ready to rock and rumble. He will get that key as soon as he goes and checks. Two chests to go. Come on, werewolf. You're not a threat. Go away. Well, there it is. There's the loot. Earth is... He who calls it. Yep, there it is. Earth is required. He found what he was looking for. That is a play. Well, there's your commentator curse for you. And Pickles, you, you got it as well, buddy. Now the question is, how long will it take for Spell Zap to go there? Because Spell Zap in the air, volcano, ice, everything other than the rest of Earth is on the table. Looks like Spell Zap gonna go volcano. Meanwhile, Chanigan dealing with some purple smudge thingy. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Although to be fair, Lich has been rather unkind to our runners in the last couple of seeds I've been uh, I've been a part of. Spells Looks that like Lich just kind of stood there. Yeah. Meanwhile, Spells that sees the Xbox, notes it, does not go near it. Channing and meanwhile, two more shards for popping out of Earth. Where are you off to now? Stop. Maybe getting the slab if he's got the money for it. Oh, he's, yeah, well, he's got the bottle, so he's probably going to do a double turn and make it fast. That's exactly where he's headed. He's definitely got the cash. Oh yeah, eight eighty-two grand is uh, more than enough. Plus the houses and everything else will need. He probably doesn't have to buy anything more unless he goes for a grind at this point. Nope, he's sitting pretty at this point. Go pick up fast. One cast of it. But now, so he will go back to Melman, get his slab translated. He will then hit up both Gaia, Lafayne, probably Cardia thereafter. Get his key and be in item go mode. Indeed, I could just think one more item that the racers might want to get if they've got the money, and that's going back to Crescent to pick up Warp. But that is a nice to have, not a must have at this point. Being at level 5 or above is just that much more annoying to menu to. That is correct. My fellow Soda Bubbles, um, Bubbles Co. is saying Melman Bubble Decardia. Bubbles Soda Company. Oh, so a company, thank you. A little tongue-tied today. Has pointed out that Melman Decardia is also a very quick hop, and that is exactly what Shanigan is doing. Which means and he will get his... routing is working well. He'll get his key, and he will be ready to rock and roll. He's also got two fiends down, which gives him four shards, which puts him at least four ahead of Spell Zap, because they're all checking the same locations. Yep, Spell Zap will catch up with the shard count that's here in Cardia. Spell Zap has, also, has gone through and picked up all the locks except for Marsh Lock in the Inner Sea, so there's a lot that Chanigan has to catch up with those. But again, as you said, Chanigan has dealt with both of the fiends in Volcano and Ur in Earth. Uh, that's four shards from that. That's all the chests involved in those levels. So this divergence... It may seem like one racer's ahead of another, but it's actually pretty even, I'd say. The key just the key factor here is that Spell Zap has Oxyale. If he decides to go C and doesn't go back to Earth, that's gonna be a that's a setback. Because I'm looking at Chan again for what he had on his screen. I believe he had two full rows and almost a third? 
He's got two furrows for sure. I think he's at 15 or... I think 15 at this point. It's very close to a third row, or close enough to matter, but it looks like Chanigan, yep, gonna go ahead and... Will Chanigan check what's in the chest, or... no, nah, it's gonna go check the, fair, the fairy and the slab. This is gonna turn into the ribbon, this is gonna turn into the opal, so good gear either way. Absolutely, it's gonna be happy to see both of them. There's his ribbon. That's going on to that red mage. No, he's gonna... Oh, yeah, 17 sorry, he... shards. 17, okay, I was close. Alright, so, that's right, he doesn't have the other ribbon. Yep, well, the other ribbon was in bottom right of Toflok, Tof so... Which could, he... Could get there pretty quick. Oh, he'll, he'll get it at some point, I'm, I'm quite certain. Ooh! Blood? Sandworm. That's delicious. That... That oh. is a very short, like six or seven steps off of the off the hard reset, and they're quad, for that first and, encounter and quad exable. Chanigan sees that, says, "Hmm, what's in the top corner?" Nah, not as good. Check the bottom. Couple sploot. <laughs> See, what we got down here. Nah, steak and wings. Not as good as sandwiches. And the bottom corner. And we got... Alright, well, that's... Looks like we're, we're feasting on sandwiches today. This is a definitely okay thing to find. I would love to see him get at least one more shard and come yeah. back for it. Yep, I think he's just taking... He's just taking a peek. Is he gonna do locked? Yes, it looks is. like it. He's going to Cardia Lock. He'll find that ribbon. He will pick up the Oxy Ale in the process. That will put him on item parity with Spells App. Yes, it will. So this is... As, as Saracen is pointing out, it's really not going to matter what Spells App's next move is. Because Carry, out of the way, he's out of Earth. Where does he go? So he's got 13 shards right now. Um... Oh my word, is, he... is this a play to the mech? Uh, if he goes in that door, it is. Oh boy. No, no, he no, checked. Did, did he... he check the other hairpin? So... No, no, he didn't. Oh, he didn't finish clearing this section. No, so he'll, he'll do that. Meanwhile, Chanigan picking up his magic on level one. Good time to get it. You're in the area. Gonna go over to Provoker. Taking the head, Chanigan's not... He's going Provoker to get magic, it looks like. He's yep. not going locks just yet. Spells out meanwhile. Gonna take a little landing here. Go probably pop back in. Pick up some items. Had to shake my head there. It was like, you gave us hope, Spells Up. You gave us so much hope. <laughs> but with the Masa and the Vorpal, or the Exhale and the Vorpal rolled up, I doubt I'll, either of these runners are gonna go back there unless they feel like they hmm. need that hit of experience. No, I think this would be, that'd be an experience only play. Oh, spells up. Are you going to see? Are you going to see? Oh dear. All right. Well, there it is. Conrad Continent. Yep. He's going. So he's going to do. He's going to do the C play. This still could work out. It could even out depending on what's what is where. I I I am very hopeful that he carbonates bubbles. I'm hoping, no, I'm hoping that he carbonates bubbles. Let's, 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 let's hope for that, at least. Because he, he doesn't know where the loot is, so he's going to take a look. He's going to look everywhere. Looks like he's going left side first, wants to get the experience, possibly get those four shards at the end for killing the Kraken. Uh, possibly come back to, car, or to uh, Mermaid's side. At this point, with the amount of shards he's missing, Mermaid's is probably a logical next step. Meanwhile, Chan again, done with the purchasing magic in Elfland. Done with picking up the katana and whatnot, is going to go north this castle and is in the circ for the sequence of lock checks checks to find that ribbon and the oxy ale. Honestly, Chanigan could end up in C before her spell zap even clears it at this rate. Yeah, well, I can tell you one place he's probably not going, and that's Marsh. Marsh will be completely faded by Chanigan. He's using the fizzle play to say, hashtag never Marsh. 
Well, given the fact that he's already got plenty of gear, that Vorpal would be nice to have, but hey, if you don't get the crown to get the Vorpal, you really don't care at this point. No, All I... the other swords are rolling so nice. No, he's not going to bother going back for that. Spells that, meanwhile, is checking some chests and crack inside. And... Good old shark dado floor. Everyone loves it. He does have the key, so he can check TFC on the mermaid side if he so desires. Chang and fading the Harade Warp. He took the words right out of my mouth, Avian. He just walks on past. So, Chang and heading to the east, to the north. Looks like he's heading to some Mirage. Possibly go ahead and fight some uh, worms, or just go ahead and dig in uh, to the two floors of Mirage. Hope to find the cube there. Yep, that's what he's doing. He's popping his way in. Still didn't check out Toflock though, so still only has the one ribbon, but hey, that's just how many spells that has too, so nothing too out of the ordinary or too off balance there. Yeah, but he can go to Toflock on his way in through Tof if he does if he if he you know, he's gotta go back that way to get to the last boss. He can stop by there, take a look on his way through. Which he might do. He knows he's, he knows he's gonna go back there no matter what. He's in item go mode, so anything else he finds is just balance. And oh, the cube is in C, in Sharknado 4 pack. Yep. So there, so Chanigan's dive will net him nothing except for shards. I would say this might be one of your seeds for how the cube is in, Mir in C, but I mean the. No, the, no, no. I mean, we didn't get the Ox Ale in Mirage to get to the cube in C, so it's obviously not one of yours. If it was one of mine, the canoe would be like the last item found. Always in CCs. Always in CCs. It tends to... It's been rolled there twice so far on, on my seed, so yes, that is possible. But we're going to check the greater than less than, looking for shards. Plus, looking for some good walking encounters. Ooh! Or, that was the Aegis Shield. An Aegis? It's a, it's been, it didn't it's, roll up, it didn't look like, but it's no. still really good. Spells up says no. Walk it away. Okay. He's got that opal out of Ur or out of volcano. It's it's a nice upgrade, but it's not a massively necessary upgrade. And oof, good thing he's picked up that life magic, but does not have the charges. Gets the life magic on the night though, from the blursing to use. Right, so going gonna... to go for carry. Kraken. He's already killed Kraken. carry. My apologies. Kraken carry long gone. Meanwhile, Chanigan is getting out because he cannot bother with that. So. Away we go. Heading south. Ice? Interesting. No. Ye no? No, not doing ice. Stopping we for... We are confused. He's getting warp. Magic. He wants warp. Yep, he wants warp, and then he will probably end up diving. I like this. It is a substantial utility play, and... He's not that far away from other places to go at this point. He doesn't need anything other than really shards. He could go ice with warp now. It's a pretty chest-dense area once you get past the first two floors, and that looks like what he's doing. Meanwhile, Spell Zap kind of destroyed Kraken, so level 17 across the party and out with two more or four more shards. He is in the shard lead right now. He only needs five. Only needs five, but does need the loot. Yep. He's gonna, he could end up uh, last iteming it. There's Temper, we finally found it. It's at level seven. You don't want to see it there, but you have it. Yeah, do it, have the Saber Bonk, so the Knight is gonna be able to tough itself up, but the more you have to use Saber Bonk, the less you're having, you're able to swing. This is true. Ooh, Black Shirt, hello, you want that. That's excellent to see, because that means that gold ring or that opal, if they fi end up getting it from the Lefanians, can stay on the Red Mage. There's your warp play right there. Heal. White shirt. That's better than the black shirt. Because the... As far as utility goes, nope. that is for sure. Nope. Black mage can equip it. It was one of the blursings. He has the shirt blursing. Ooh. So he gets the white shirt plus five. It's better than the black shirt plus two. That is an interesting situation to have. And I don't mind. Spells that meanwhile. Finds a fire minus one. Says, no, nope, I got a better shield. I don't want to waste my time. As uh, Chanigan gets through the undead pack at the drop down in ice. Gets away from the frosties. 
Got another shard. Okay, so he's, he's, he's at least got something out of it. Yep, that puts him on shard parity with uh, with spells app. Only needs five more to get going. Pickles pointing out that it indeed is better with the black shirt than it is for the white shirt, as the black shirt has protection against time. And thank you for carbonating your bubbles. Thank you, Spells App. We here at the Soda Bubble Co. are once again proud to support the carbonation of bubbles to keep the world refreshed. Remember, we use 100% of the mermaid. It's all recycled. Mental image. Well, well, we'll get away from that. Chanigan going on to fight or run away from a Jotunheim pack. You got the Frosty and Frost Giants, or Frost Wolf and Frost Giants. Uh, going on to the final floor of ice as Spells App went directly to Mermaids, is now going to check TFC. And, oh, there's the second ribbon located in ice. So if Chanigan checks, he gets them all. Yep, Toe Flock is flock. the uh, oh. last one to pick. And... Well, he's got the ribbons now, so he probably cares less about the mummies with Frost. Yeah, Ben having Fire 3 to cast to kill. I mean, it's extra effective against the mummies, reasonably effective against the birds. Yeah, they're just jerk birds. Three more chests here in ice. Meanwhile, one Gershark away from the check on what's in TFC. It is a shard. Well, I mean, he does need them. Indeed we do. And Chanigan out, happy with that dive, got a few shards, got some experience, whether he wanted to or not, but mostly got that ribbon and the shards. Is he... Does Chanig go to Marsh? Yep, he's going he's to... He's going Marsh. He's going to Marsh. There are a good number of shards in here, um, not in Marsh topped at least, but we do know Marsh bottom has some shards and has that crown, which would lead to the Vorpal, but I'm assuming he's going to kind of ignore that. Yeah, at this Meanwhile, point... It... Spells app walking it out. Absolutely, he's done and done. Save up. Do the same thing I do and pop does back spells in. App... Does Spells app go to Waterfall? Yep. Yes, yep. he does. Proximity play, I, I would do the same thing. It's uh, You're there, it's quick check. He does still need shards. It's also not a bad place for a small walking grind because you can find loose gasties, you can find mud goals in here. You can find mummies. Uh, <laughs> yep, the mummy whiz mummy pack is at the trap tile in front of. Uh, oh, there's mud goals and they're unrunnable, so that's some experience he's gonna have to take. Yep, got no option there, that's for sure. So, Chanigan, meanwhile, we'll take a little take a little quick dive in here. To, now. Depending on how many shards he has, he may end up checking the lock chests as well. Uh, that is true, and we did not see what those were because Spells App did not have the key when he went Marsh. He went Marsh about the same time Chanigan initially went to, Bulk, er, to Earth, if I remember correctly. You are correct. There's Frost. And there's Fog too, so he's going to be at that a while. Yeah, I can imagine the annoyance that that pack is is just driving in him at this moment. Yeah, fall. we will see Marsh locked. If if he takes it, he's probably gonna go down left from here. One shard, heel helmet. Ooh, a cabin. Thanks, robot. Money, copper, flame. He needs two more shards to be in go mode. Yep, taking yep. advantage of that one warp charge he has, gets out of there without having to run it back out. And yeah, cool. okay, not horrible. Chang and meanwhile does still need five shards. For a second, I thought Chanigan or Spells App was going to be going towards the uh, the caravan, but nope, he's got the airship. Knows where the or incentive slab is. Is just going to say no and no care. Yep, but he's going to go with Sky. So it's not. It he does have both the chime and the cube, so I understand this play. But we know where that loot is, and he is not going there. No, that's I, I. The play makes perfect sense. It's proximity. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but mm, you hate to see it. Meanwhile, Chenin picks up his crown, which I'm sure he just wants to throw on the ground, as it's not useful at this point. But he will check the it's last a chintzy piece of jewelry. At this point, it does lead to a great sword. So, Spells App gonna get the news that there's not really much in the first floor, but he is but one shard away. One shard and the last most important item. Yes. 
Sky will, as Classic Hammer pointing out in chat, Sky provides, but it's not providing you a musical instrument this day. It could provide a Wormack encounter, but uh, I highly doubt he's gonna care. No, I... Another Pro Cape for Chanigan, gonna have good shielding essentially equipped to all of his characters that, at this point. That's a Pro Ring, actually. Even better. Ooh, even better. Undeathable, or... <laughs> Relatively speaking. 3 and 256 deathable. Well, nothing, nothing is a guarantee. Meanwhile, Chenny getting going to warp out. So where is he off to now, then? Toph Locked would be the obvious choice. No, is he going to Waterfall? It is the only place he can go from here. Yeah. I mean, doubt he's going to check that he's... magic at level 7 here in Gaia. He has. It appears he has forgot about Toflocked. because he's he's going well, to he can... he's going to waterfall, thinking that maybe the cube of the Oxgale is there, and uh, we know it is not. So this will give Spells Act some time to catch up. Indeed, as much as I'd love him to get the ribbon in Toflocked, it's it's not the most important thing that's there. No, no, it is not. Um, at this point, it's shards he's after. He needs more, and we know there's not five. Uh, inside of Waterfall. We know there's one. Yep, and a cabin. I mean, a robot with a cabin. Great. I'm sure he'll, uh... Chat calling for ordeals? Please, no. That would be an interesting reroute. There's a shard and a soft, so... So, yep, so Spells App has everything he needs, but he's going to be popping chests for the next little bit. That's just annoying with Cure. Well, annoying, but not super horrifying. You've got sweepers, you've got a reasonably good chance of hitting. Those Those nightmares are very dodgy by design, which is quite annoying, but good experience-ish. Yeah, There's better packs, like the eye tile, that's a pretty good, or eye encounter, that's a pretty good chunk of experience. I don't, I run from nightmares, they're not worth it, they're dodgy, they give nothing for experience. No thank you, I'll take my chances somewhere else. Yeah, I only said that because they're unrunnable in Sky, which uh, kind of stinks, but... Just a bit. So, yeah, Chanigan actually taking the Mummy Whiz Mummy pack instead of running away from it like uh, Spellzap did. This is He had five Whiz Mummies here, so that's actually a good chunk of experience. Yeah, that's a good... That's a lot. That's almost... That's 9,000 experience. There's just one shard that he's going to pop out. Gets his cabin... Flame armor, not interested. He's still... No, he's taking the flame armor. But he still doesn't have the shards. Yep, and without the cube or the oxyail, does not have access to a four-shard fiend, having already dealt with Tia, or having already dealt with uh, Carrie and Lich. That shard, or that fiend kill would do the job for him to go into full go mode. So, if you chan again, you're trying to retrace your steps. Figure out what it is that you forgot. Because you know you're missing something, because you don't want to go to ordeals. You, you don't. But he does appear to be heading in the right direction. Yes. There he, it is. There he is. He's in tow, if he remembers it. Gonna crush some trees just because he can. Burn off an encounter and go in. Gonna get the ribbon, gonna get the oxail, and go, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Now, if you were Chanigan, would you try and crack chess, or would you just beeline it to, care, to crack in for the kill? He's got warp. I would go mermaids, check the chests there. If nothing, warp and head to try to crack him. I would check the first... I'd check right side floor one. Specifically, the, specifically I would go for the uh, TFC chest, because it's usually there. Well, we know TFC has a shard, so mm -hmm. that would work well for Shanigan. It, it's so it's very fitting, but no, he probably will not check another chest. He'll probably just beeline it. He needs three shards at this point, and he's out, and away he goes. Cut up straight north. You know where he's headed, and it's not ordeals. Well, spells up, spells up. Going to CC's gambit on Sky Three. Finds. More shards. There's the Oval Plus 5. Says not interested. Walks away. Not even going to bother with a quad ret or R Hydra with the shards he's got. Four R Hydras would be another good chunk of experience, but at and this point, he's not really caring about experience. He's caring about getting the loot. There's the Sun Sword was, and it's a great Sun Sword if you needed it. 
Yeah, I think the Excal plus early kind of makes it a moot point. Too true. Chanigan, meanwhile, beelining it for Kraken. There's nothing standing in his way at this point. But yep, he's got every ribbon. He's got his shards he needs. He's got his items. He's got reasonable levels. I I, I see Chanigan in the head or in the lead at this point, just because spells up did not get that loot. Well, Spells Up now has checked every chest. There's no point in him going to kill Tia. If he's got the warp charges, which he probably doesn't because it is level 6, I would be getting out of here. But he looks like he's going to go... You were so close, Spells Up. If you'd only gone to the left, I would have been okay with this. Yeah, I'm more wor I'm more annoyed that he didn't go for the Warmack because he's up here anyways. He might as well. Yeah, if he wants the Warmack, he can go find that some. He can go find that in Volcano. But I agree. Yeah, I mean, true, but so he's level 22 across the board, which is good enough for a tow friend, That's for sure. Especially with the uh, equipment that he's got. Yep, Quad X gets the kill on that annoying encounter that could not otherwise be run from. Saracen pointing out, and I have to agree, Spells Up and Shenanigan, both incredibly good runners. Like, nothing to take away from either of these individuals. But, you're 52 minutes in, you got the early floater, you're thinking, why hasn't my opponent dot done yet? Something doesn't seem right here. Like, is my opponent in Tof? Like, because Shenanigan probably feels behind searching for these last few shards. Which... Technically, he is in the shard hand, but he's not because he's got the loot. But he doesn't know that, obviously. Oh! Indeed, he got the. Kraken, Kraken found well, the. That... Kraken found the life caster again. Yeah. Well, let's see if Oop, going for fast tried the cheeky brack, did not stick with it. Going to fire two. He had down for spell zap. That's some experience extra at this point. Uh, but swinging the Excal, 6 hits, 770 with that fast, does the job, and there goes all the shards needed for Chanigan, oh, as Spellzap nice. heads towards ice. Yep, that's... That's the... That's... Gonna get a ribbon, but not gonna get a loot. Yeah, that's... I mean, I don't blame him. He really... You really don't want to go and dive Earth. Um, if... If there's a fizzle in chat, you can bring it up if you want to. Because I know you're going to say Earth first. Meanwhile, over on Chanigan's side, we're going to burn off some encounters, and here we go. At 53.38, we are into Topher. Now, with the levels that Chanigan has, he is not going to be going, like, bam, bam, bam through here. Mm. Honestly, kind of shocked he's not taking that fight. If but he's... if he thinks he's got the levels, he just wants to go. He thinks, he... again... As Saracen pointed out, and I agree, he he might think he's behind. This is a jet seed. The canoe, the early floater and the early canoe opened the world up to them very quickly. He, he ooh, 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 five hit points. Those gasties were not letting him escape. Nope, but he's showing you why that thief or ninja is so valuable in these seeds. Yep, but nope, he's not stopping for anything at this point. He he feels behind, and it, because he feels behind, he's gonna go like his. Speed and power at this point is all he's got. Yeah. He's got fast, he's got saber, he's got two ruse items, three uh, and an invis item if he got that white shirt. And uh, yeah, gonna be in good shape to do it. The only issue I could see Chanigan having is unrunnable encounters interfering with his progression, with his low health, and of course, nuke. Well, the good nuke and nuclear. Yep, but the good news is he does have life on that night. He's only got a few casts of it, but he has it. Uh, no, he also has the ribbons. Vorpal was not grabbed by Chinigan. No, he has the crown, but never turned it in. Here comes a lich. A what now? I, I, I ooh, Bane? Yeah. Uh, something uh, had Bane. Th just be careful. Don't... I pff, died to an 88 damage fire 3. All right, let's go away. Eh, I think the Excal definitely carried that one there, but hey, get that final burn off, and there's that ribbon for Spells Zap. Spells now has a full set. He does, he does, he does. So, as I said, the Chanigan with the full set of ribbons is in a good position for the high power elemental magic, but no 
No effect on nukes. The ribbons cannot help there. Nothing helps with nukes, despite what Nintendo Power told you back in the 80s, where it said to cast a fire. Does not work. Waste of time. Waste of magic. A fire. Waste of a spell slot. <laughs> Here we go with carry. We're gonna use some ice. We're gonna use some fast. Swing. Six hits for 566 at a critical hit. We're gonna fast up. We're gonna ice three. 53 damage. And swing. Two. Ooh, 229. <laughs> That's nice. Stop comes out. Nope, won't go do anything. The ribbons protect. Quad X should probably take care of this problem. Goodbye, Carrie. Hellzap going to Marsh Locked, hoping to find the loot there. Yet another swing and miss, unfortunately, as Chanigan is on to T or on to Kraken's floor. Oh, Bloodworth in chat. That's right. Any A spell is a waste. Yeah, Not in this environment. We have Alit because dark, improved dark is on. Alit could actually be a value item. I wouldn't buy it. All right, here we go. We're gonna go. This is this is the uh, the usual gatekeeper. All right, so we get the white shirt on to we get a ruse. We get the white shirt and fast. Who's cracking gonna one shot this time? You've you got to imagine it'll be the red mage. It's got yep. a higher probability of being hit, and boom, it is dead. And down it goes. So now... Ooh, cheeky Brackstrat. I like it. Brack comes out. Right it on Kraken 1. Oh, and he got it the first shot! Goodbye, Kraken 2! Chanigan, pedal to the metal! If Chanigan's trying to go for that one hour per below, that is how you're going to pull it off. 57, 30 or so coming into that Tia fight... Spell. This is a go, go, go. Spells that being off. He, again, he thinks he's behind. He's feeling the pressure. It's coming up to an hour on what was a jet seed. He's. He, he, I, I've been in his position before. You know it. It's like, you know. Oh, Spells app, don't. Please don't. Don't do ordeals. Oh, he's doing ordeals. Oh. You said you didn't want to see it, and unfortunately, it looks like we are going to see it. Meanwhile, Chandigan dealing with some unrunnable rock calls. Nearly lost the night. Going to get the Cure 4 coming out before. Thankfully, the Black Mage didn't take a hit, so he doesn't have to use a life cast, and that Red Mage survives. They hit. These rock calls are a huge chunk of experience, though. Not going to be unhappy, just sad he loses the, loses the time to take the fight. And the Cure 4 charge that he just burned. That is very true, but level 23 for the fighter, 23 for the black mage, and 22 for the red mage. Gonna heal up, gonna get that fight on Tia 2 as Spellzap navigates the maze. Get your pillars in chat for what it's worth. Alright, we got a ruse, we got a white, we got a fast. Might shirt comes out, turn order looks good so far. Uh oh, if Tia, oh boy, Tia's got something. There it is! Yep, there it is, whenever they go last they have something. That Cure 4... Oh, he's got one last cast of Cure 4. But, Rub is a free turn. Six hits for 656. That's not bad. Prob uh, do you want to burn the Quad X? No. Uh, the Heal 3, too valuable to lose. So we're going to swing. Ooh, T is thick. Gonna swing again. That shit... Pot strats. Doesn't matter. That's the end of T. So... We're going to use our Life 2 cast. We're going to heal up with our pots. So oh, zap on, all the way on Ordeal's top floor. Going to not find the loot. Going to curse and thank Bear. Has he not been? As Channing is heavy, pulling though. up to chaos. So. Probably not going to be sub-hour, but it will be close. So here we go. We're going to fast. We're going to white shirt. We're going to roost stick. Chaos says, ooh, ooh, Mr. Black Wizard. Do you like being in single digits? I like you being in single digits. Punchy, punchy. It'd get the fast off. That makes the difference. Gonna switch up. Gonna go Brack, was that? Yep, that was Brack. And Chaos misses the swing. Brack comes out. Ineffective. Cheeky. White shirt comes out again. That should put his knight at pretty near full of a cap. And spells out finally going back to Earth. He will find his loot. Meanwhile, Chaos... Last place and... Chaos cannot hit that black wizard. That's the, he's missed every shot except for that first one. Missed the knight for sure. Chaos very punchy. Still can't hit that black wizard. He's on three health and he's just... just he's a perfect target. Jenny, meanwhile, that Excal doing some work with those. Oh, come on, Chaos. 
Oh dear. This, this is... is the most inaccurate chaos I've ever seen. This is... He's just punching. Chanigan swings again. And there it is. Get your GGs out in chat for Chanigan. Our winner with an official race time of one hour and 35 seconds. Well, GGs Chanigan. And thank you for joining us in chat. How do you feel after that one? He'll do, uh, thank God that went, uh, pretty, uh, pretty well, I guess, uh, other than the uh, last four shards, I think, <laughs> um, everything went pretty smoothly. It, it was, uh, it was a pretty good run. So, uh, chat was asking and we were all wondering, did you forget about Toe Flocked or did you just fade it? Yep. Okay. Yep. We... I just forgot. Uh, <laughs> when I got to key, I'm like, okay, uh, let's do every lock like always and I just forgot <laughs> ah, that's a very easy thing to forget yeah how, how how much of a jet seat did you fail you were in the moment you got the uh, the the floater and the canoe so early oh I'm, i was like this is a sub hour seed uh if everything goes well this is easily sub hour and yeah me skipping tof uh... <laughs> did I, I, I did you feel behind at all of that seed that you were kind of wondering where spells at Yep. <laughs> well, um, we... Yeah, it's really that, that toe flame. We, well, we regret to inform you that, uh, well, not in your case, but he didn't redive Earth. So he had more than enough shards, but had no loot. Yeah. Um, full clear gamble sky. So I gamble so hard on that uh, dive back. You, you know who'd be proud of that? Fizz will be very proud of that. <laughs> he, I'm sure if he, he's not watching, but if he was, he would be quite pleased. Because not only that, you uh, faded Marsh for the longest time. Only went back when you, uh, only went back when you decided you needed the, uh, check for shards. Mm. Yeah, no, the, 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 I really didn't want to go Marsh. <laughs> no, I, I, I think that's kind of a commonality amongst runners in this flag set. Marsh is not fun. Um, I guess we're going to call this the commentator curse because I had called the loot before you uh, picked it up and Spellzap uh, didn't find it. He's about to find it. After full clearing sky, sea, and ordeals. And volcano. Yeah. And waterfall. This is a full clear. Minus the Masa chest. Oh. No one no one went back for that, sadly. No. I almost went back, but I felt so behind. I'm like, I'm just in case those that minute or minute and a half. Just in case I'm not taking any chances. That's um well, I have I have to say though, I gotta give my hats off to your black wizard who stood there with three hit points <laughs> and just said, Bring it, Chaos, I can take it. As soon as Chaos started this, I'm like, wow, I don't need to uh, to roost it anymore. <laughs> no, you, uh, you... Just, let's go all, uh, all power, all, uh, Speed and power. Hard bomb. yeah. <laughs> you, you pulled the, uh, you pulled the fizzle strat, um, as soon as we saw you enter Topher, it's like, yeah, he's going full tilt, there's no stopping, there's not, like, the only thing that stopped you, I believe, was a few packs of unrunnables. Meanwhile, Spell Zap has killed a lich, and will be on his way to Topher. I, think man, I was thinking, I thought you might take a bit of a grind when you saw the four gas thieves in Topher, and you just ran from those like, nope, speed and power all the way. Yeah, like, like I said, I was feeling so behind. Uh, wasn't taking any chances. Uh, it's really weird without a, uh, a thief. And yes. Without being able to run so uh, that often. Speaking of which, um, because you didn't get to see, did you, uh, you didn't get to see the rest of the blursing, so the, the thief had 800 gold to start with, and the wood evade. Your white mage had plus one MP to all levels and clean magic, and okay. and your black belt had plus 10 strength and tell magic. Yeah, we weren't using the black no, belt. No, I, I, I really don't. Uh, those. These black sets are not black belts. Uh, no, I as, as a black belt aficionado myself, I will agree these are not the flag sets for that whatsoever. They're just they're they're, they're not uh, they're not they're not induced they're not inducive to that whatsoever. Unfortunately, I think the um, the proudest move I did was the uh, the brag on Kraken two. <laughs> that was very cheeky. That was cheeky, and I do approve of that. 
Hey, we try you tried it on Kraken. <laughs> we saw you try it on Kraken before you switched to fast and swing, so. But it did work yeah. out for you. Yep. I'm pretty happy. I really didn't want to know what uh, Kraken 2 had. Well, it's funny you should mention that. <laughs> I was just about to pull that up, just because I enjoy giving our runners a little preview of what they missed. So, let's see what we got here. So, let's see where everything landed. Chaos had nothing. Abs. Just a punch machine. Just, just, nice. a punch, just a punch machine. That's all Chaos had for you, my friend. You, uh, As soon as you roost up, you were 100% safe. Wow. Janet spells that. that was the easiest Chaos I've ever seen. Yes, he was not... Um... Other than the first punch on the white mage, uh, on the black mage that didn't even kill him. No. Uh, he had like 13 or three health. 20 he had... at tops. He had uh, three armor. It was great. And yeah. He had no armor other than the uh, the 12. 12 plus 6. So, so 18 plus a pro ring. Well, spells out to make quick work of carry who had. Stop, fire three, ice two, fire two, lit three, fire three, slow two, nuclear nuclear poison ink, and thunder. Oh, not bad. Your old friend, the Kraken, ah, had the cure four. Second ability, second spell on the list. Lit two, cure four, fire three, stun, ice two, rub, lit two, and the nuke. Lich had bane, nuke, wow. He had Bane, Nuke, Lit 2, Lit 2, Zap, Fire 3, Quad X, Ice 3, Swirl, Tornado, Nuclear, and Inferno. Wow. <laughs> okay, that, uh, that Lich had everything. That Lich was <laughs> loaded. Tia, as you know, also had Nuclear. As I believe they she uh, she may have used it on you. She also had... Uh, nuke. She, she, had nuke. nuke. she had Nuclear too. That was the second <laughs> uh, ability. It was Nuke, Rub, Fire 2, Stun, Zap, Lit 2, Fire 3, Ice 2, Ink... Oh. Ink, Nuclear, Blaze, and Blizzard. And meanwhile, Spell Zap, I think that is a forfeit yeah, from Spell Zap. Uh, I think he just blind. got hit to... Yeah, he got blinded. Yep, that was... Got dark on the night and then immediately died to a punch. Yeah. And that's a GG forfeit wow. for Spell Zap. Wow. Well, I mean, to be fair, that was... That was a brutal Kraken that just did not want to let up. It was like, you know what? I mean, to be fair, Chan again, he, the, the, the Kraken did kind of punch out your red mage right away. <laughs> yeah. And we are joined in the room by Spells at Spells at GG's. GG's. GG's, man. So can, thank you for taking us on a whirlwind tour of the entire game. Unfortunately, looking for one item. Yeah, I should have checked the boxes in tow for two. <laughs> yeah, you should. Uh, I, I felt so behind because I skipped uh, those boxes uh, in Toph. And God, getting the uh, the Oxiel, uh, was it was my almost no, it wasn't my last uh, last location, but almost was. I think I had ordeals left. Ordeals was the last one for uh, for yeah. you to go back to because you you had cleared ice, you had cleared the waterfall, uh, you had done cardia. Yep, you did, you did the cardias. Volcano was taking care of. You even did Marsh Lock because you retyped Marsh with the key. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was that was a, that was an all around the world seed. The only thing that we kind of didn't see was the Warmech, which probably was for the best. <laughs> yeah, he, when you have Warpool and Excal, you're like, well, do I need to go kill Warmech? True, you did have a fantastic uh, early Vorpal. Uh, so. I guess to uh, ask the same question to both uh, Chanigan first. Chanigan, what'd you think of the quick canoe and floater? That's very rare in winter tournament seeds to see that. Yeah. Um, as soon as I saw, as I got the uh, the floater, I'm like, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I just want don't want to deal with uh, Earth Cave at level four. Yes, you. Uh, I believe you were the one that found that the mummies had frost. Yeah, I found that uh, pretty early. I'm like, yeah, it's uh, the uh, floor uh, four. Yeah, that's where they, they can spawn. I'm like, I'm not risking it. I'm just leaving. No, at I that, other checks to do. So. <laughs> at that point, I, I I don't blame you. Um, it was certainly, and you both made that same decision. You both said, you know what? Nope, nope. I I have, I have a floater. I have a canoe. I am leaving. Which was, to be fair, very smart play. Um, spells app to you. What did you think of the jet nature of the seed? 
Yeah, I mean, it would have been a fast seed. Um, if you if you cleared Earth first time, I think it would have been a really fast seed because you can get the Oxiel from Keylock. And just, honestly, you could be done probably somewhere in the mid-50s. Yeah. No, that was definitely a mess of our season. Close to it. You still made it in an hour 35. And honestly, mm -hmm. Spell Zap, the fact that you dang near full cleared the entire map, and if it weren't for that, that bad encounter with Kraken, you still could have done this in under 10 or 110. That is incredible. Very much, very much. That is still a lightning quick time, even with a full clear. Yeah, I mean, I was starting to caution to the wind in Topher. That's why I died, but um, I probably wouldn't. Have, I don't think I would have made it under 110. It would have been more safe, probably. Yeah. Well, Chaos um, was a complete punch cannon. Nothing else. No abilities, no spells. So if you made it to him and got your Rue stacks up, you would have had the win in hand. He literally rolled... Or at least the kill. Well, yeah, but... Well, the win in the sense he killed Chaos. But he literally had nothing. He had... Zero. So, meanwhile, Chanigan, you're moving on. You will know by tomorrow evening who you're going to face next. It's either going to be Rubes or Pickles and Beer. How do you feel about those matchups? Uh, I, I need a rematch against Pickles. <laughs> so, you, so you're, you're putting your money on Pickles? Interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's my he's my partner, so yeah. I have no choice. He, uh, he's my uh, that's that that's that's fair enough. That's fair yeah, enough. Yeah, I I have no choice. Uh, I love Rubes. He's a great guy, but gotta put my money on the uh, on pickles. Meanwhile, spells up. Unfortunately, this is the end of your tournament. But I'm looking back, and you had a good long run. Uh, what uh, what are your thoughts on uh, what are your thoughts on things up to this point? Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun. I um, always like to come on and do tournaments, get the 1v1s. We don't get enough of those. Um, you know, I'm glad to see some familiar names here pretty deep in the tournament. I want to see, you know, Caleb do well. He's, he's definitely put in the number of races. Um, and, yeah. you know, maybe get Channingen up there in Loser's Finals, and then uh, well, see what happens. Well, it's funny you should mention that. If Channingen makes it to the Loser's Finals, he gets Caleb. Yep. <laughs> so there you go. It'll be uh, that'll be a very interesting one, and the winner of that gets to take on Fry Teeth, who has already punched his ticket as the best in the best of three grand finals. Fabian, do you have any questions for our runners? Mm, Honestly, <laughs> did at any time you guys have the want to go and turn in that slab knowing that it was going to turn into the opal bracelet or do you think the gear was just pretty excellent all around anyways? Yeah, it was decent. Didn't need uh, that opal. I just needed the uh, the ribbon at that point. Yeah, I felt like I was like, yeah, I don't really need whatever mm -hmm. it's got. Because the red mage, I think, only need the pro rank to get instant death immunity, so... No, there wasn't really a huge rush to get three ribbons. You, you, there wasn't a rush to get two ribbons because you just had the one full fighter who could light people up. My only other question was, did you ever think of putting the the light axe on the black mage? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, quad X basically kills anything that you would yeah. swing on, so... <laughs> well... Well, if there's nothing else, I guess we move on to our final thoughts. We will turn first to our winner and moving on to the next round. Chanigan, final thoughts, sir. Uh, just want to say thank you to the crew um, for allowing us to do this uh, almost every night. Uh, GG spells up again. Uh, I think you're one of the best FFR player there is uh, on the... On the uh, the server um really it's a pretty happy I've, I've finally been able to at least take a game from you um other than that uh, thank you again rpg limit break for lending us their channel and uh, yeah that was fun i'm pretty hyped for the uh the rest of the tournament and uh yeah, that's about it very good sir very well said spell zap our runner up on seed and uh our unfortunate uh, will unfortunately be departing this tournament at this point. Any thoughts? 
No, I mean, it was fun. It was good. But Shanigan did knock me out of last time anyway. Man, can't even remember that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> well, damn. Oh. <laughs> GG's, man. GG's. That was good. That was good. It's always fun. Uh, for real, it's always fun uh, facing you. Um, yes, um, it was even if it's in a uh, a pickup race or an uh, official tournament. Uh, I don't know. It just gets my uh, just gets me hype uh, for the match. You said high level FFR, man. Yeah, uh, dude. I love it. absolutely. This was a clinic of entertaining race. I, it was very enjoyable, and I shall turn now to my co-coms, Thavian Hawk. Any final thoughts? As ever, thank you very much for having me on to commentate with you, Ozlato, and thank you for doubling up as our restreamer. Thank you for RPG Link being our host, and thank you to Ghost Pirates for being our tracker. I may or may not have actually said spell zap earlier at the intro, so uh, nope, sorry for the confusion there. It was Ghost Pirates. That it is, that it is. He was, uh, you gotta give him thanks, keeping us on us, doing a great job of tracking, keeping us, uh, keeping us on our toes. And with that, I will tell you, we have an early morning race tomorrow. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be pickles and beer and rubes. That's right. This is the per this is the match that will determine who Channing and faces next round. 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, right here on RPG Limit Break. They have decided to go with a three forced and one none. Maybe we'll see a repeat of this one. Who knows? It's going to be great. If you enjoyed what you see if you want to get involved head on over to finalfantasyrandomizer.com there you will find hey the randomizer as well a link to our wiki with some of our greatest highlight moments and some great resources and the link to the discord for all of you new players who are wondering hey can i run like these two maybe you can but you know who can help our duckling dawns that's right they're both in chat luffy dv and saracen are there and they are our duckling dons and they will be putting on our duckling boot camp that's right for all you new players we will show they will show you the ropes they will teach you how to run this seat how to route how to manipulate that's right and once it is done oh boy it's time for the duckling derby that's right for all you new players you get your own tournament no one's going to come in there as a professional and just do what these two did and wipe a seed to nothing. You get a chance to compete for the title of Duckling Supreme 2024. As a, as a graduate of the 2023 program, I can tell you it definitely gave me the confidence to run these seeds. Uh, not as good as these two, not as good as Chang and her spells app, but we're getting there. So... I encourage every single one of you who is interested to come on down, join the Discord, give yourself a duckling roll, and start running some seeds. I would like to once again give a fantastic shout-out to both of our runners, Chanigan and Spellzap, and once again, GG's to both of them. Huge shout-out to Thavian Hawk, who's helping me co-com once again, and to Ghost Pirates, who again, keeping us honest, and to RPG Limit Break for hosting us, and all of you wonderful people who have decided to tune in, join in, and give us a watch. As I am Ozloto, and I will see you in the next round. <laughs>